Today I'm going to show you how to make bottle cap images using a transparent bottle cap sheet. I love using transparent, it's much easier on me. So the first thing you want to do is find you a background. You can Google a background, any kind of background you want. I have one already picked out. So what you're going to do is you're going to go File, Red Edit, Copy. And then you're going to go edit, paste, and then you're going to go to right hand screen where it says layers. You're going to go to the floating section, pasted layer here. You're going to right click and you're going to click on to new layer. And now it's really big and you can't see the, the circles, so I'm going to scale it down. So you're going to go right click, go to scale layer and I'm going to scale it down to 300 and a little bit too big so we're going to scale it down a little bit more I'm going to keep scaling it down until I can see most of it One more and then it should be good. There it goes. And as of right now, you just see the big square. You're going to click on the pasted layer, and you see this arrow right here? It says lower the layer on one step. You're going to click it, and it's going to go down. Now, some of these might be over. This is why I like transparent because I can move it behind and if I see it over in one area what I can do is I can keep scaling it down until it's not there no more. Like so. Two hundred. There it goes. So I'm gonna, you can do it to all, or you can do is gonna right click, duplicate, duplicate layer, and then you can just move it. This is why I like transparent bottle cap sheets. See, so you can move it. See. You just move the, the image where you want, the background, like so. Oh. Now I need to do, now for the images. This is going to be a little bit different. You can Google your images and find what image you like. I'm going to do an Easter set my little chick. I'm going to go edit, copy, then I'm going to go edit, paste. And then you're going to right click to the floor, the floating section into new layer. And now you're going to scale it down until it fits the circle like so. And then you just keep going, doing it all over until you get what you want, you can move it around wherever you want it. I'm going to do one more. So you can see. See? That's about it. And then, that's mostly it. So you can move these around. You can add words to them. If you do, you just go to your little A button right here. And then you pick up the, you can pick out your font, you can pick out your color, and then you can just write in here. And of course you can change the size, like so.
And you can always add them to the pictures if you want to with them. It's really up to you. And that's how you make bottle cap sheets with transparent. And if you want to make your own bottle cap sheets with transparent, and you just have a plain bottle cap sheet with cir white circles, I'll show you how to get it transparent. To make it transparent. What you need to do is, you go to your image, you go to transparency. See how it removes all the, the background? And then you go to transparency, and you want to add alpha channel. And once you do that, you click on your little wand, and you click on the circle, and then you erase it. And that's how you make your own, that's how I do it. I do it with my shrink and inks and, and it helps me out and I do it with my bow cards and all the other stuff so it makes it easier for me.